Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the 3D Buzz presentation of Modeling and AT AT for UT3 with your host, Mr. Zach Parrish. Yeah. Um, oh, you just hush, will you? All right, what do you got planned for us today, Zach? Um, well, I'm not liking where this is going, really. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to completely destroy it. Um, I don't know. So you're telling me basically it was Friday and you were just trying to quickly throw something out. Now it's Monday. And I'm not you're... saying that. Okay. okay, maybe. Maybe a little. <laughs> maybe just a little bit. Uh, I just want to be a little more careful about how I extrude all of this in because I think I had undone a bunch of stuff here. And I opened the file a second ago and mm -hmm. I noticed that I had made a funny little extrusion up here on top. So I'll take just a second and I'll nuke that out. And then uh, we'll just hit three, grab this little border here, and we'll recap that. This is a little bit short, I noticed. If you take a look over here, mm -hmm. that piece is really tall, and it's not very tall over here. So uh, we could go ahead and fix that. Uh, let's see here. Let's go over to polygons and quit playing footsie with me. <laughs> you are stepping on my foot, dude. Uh, you know what, though? I'm the modeler. I get first dibs on where my feet go. So <laughs> All right, let me just – here, I'll deal. scoot over here. Just, just deal. There. All right. Um, I'm also going to scale this in just a, a little bit to give it a little more taper as I pull it up. Now, I'm not matching that up to the image plane. It just looks pretty much right from here. I'll just leave it at that for now. Now back down here to the bottom. I have opened up and printed a, a particular picture. Let me see if I can find the picture over here. In fact, let me just see if I can call up the big folder of stuff because I'll just point you at the picture that I was looking at and then you, everybody will be with me sort of. Right there. Left. Right, right here? Yeah, yep. that's the guy. So I have printed this and I have it in front of me so that I don't have to sit here and keep flipping back and forth. This is not that complicated. Right. There's not that much to it. But uh, a few things we're going to need to keep track of. And really, all I have is the hole in the middle, and I've got this next ring out, and then I have some detail for extruding in a bunch of other stuff that I just haven't done yet. So let's focus on that first. So you're already a lot quieter than I'm used to. What's up? I'm, not, I'm just watching. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, the trick here is I would like to have kind of like 90-degree sections and I'm going to lose track of faces uh, within short order because that's just how I am. I will grab the wrong faces and I will extrude them. Well, it looks like you've got like 100,000 of them. So. Yeah, so I'm going to do a few things first. Let's jump over and center up the pivot on this beast. Uh, effect pivot only, center to object. And that should be close enough to the middle as to make no never mind. If you've ever heard that term, I heard that this weekend it was cool. Uh, let's create a point helper and let's just go here and that's fine. Now we're going to align this point helper and because my resolution is so low, finding the align tool is going to be fun. Uh, position X, Y, Z is fine for now. Let's just go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to slide this thing way down here where I can see it. Now this is just going to be a rotation helper. This mm -hmm. is just a way for me to, to remember where everything's going to go. I'm also, uh, just looking at things, I'm not entirely satisfied with what this toe is doing. Okay. And let me point that out. It's like, there's a bunch of different directions I want to go in this video. Okay. So uh, this, you know, I like how they have this kind of smaller area that mm -hmm. actually recedes back in. You'll notice mine is like the whole width of the thing goes back sure. in. Sure, and so having that smaller area makes it look like it a, it a hinge. shaft. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's your hinge. Like a, like, well, watch band or something wouldn't, you know. Well, okay, you get the idea. And so what I'm going to do is try to fix that a little bit. Let's switch over to vertices here, and uh, I guess it would help if I went to, like, an underside view, but I'm not going to start off just by squashing that down. Now, you'll notice that does a few things. Uh, it squashes some stuff here. All this stuff looks like it tapers, so I'm going to be cheating just a little. So we'll straighten stuff out with a quick scale operation, and that looks pretty good. Uh, now, I'm going to jump back here to polygons. Dun, 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 dun. Did you do anything fun this weekend? I'm trying to think. No, actually, I worked most of the weekend. Oh, uh, yeah? How about you? Uh, I saw Iron Man again. Uh, I did I did go see Speed Racer. My uh, my wife was dying to go see this. She's such a Speed Racer fan. Literally dying. Yeah, she is. From yeah. what I understand. Yeah, she had quite an accident, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. For those that are listening, while Zach's doing some extrusions, I believe it was late Saturday night, she managed to step on a garbage bag that had been put down in the garage that had a a top from a, a cat can of cat food. Mm -hmm. Cat can. That was great. I, I was with you. And uh, it managed to slice her foot about an inch. And it's, a, it's a cut about that big, Zach, about an inch and a half to two inches. <sighs> And it looks like it sliced it just about to the bone. Now, I'm one of those queasy people. You've seen you me pass out before. You would have, oh, what are you doing there? I was trying Man, to, to planarize something. Should I just hush now? Cause Apparently, you should. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, there yeah. we go. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, so. You need some help. 
I thought I'd offer, but anyways. Mm. Continue with your story or something. So Just don't disrupt me. Man, did she bleed a lot. And uh, Of course, I after seeing the wound and the amount of blood she was losing, the first thing I said is, we need to go to the emergency room right now because you need stitches. And uh, you would have been so queasy if you had saw it. it well, apparently, it, you and her have that in common. That yeah. whole, I refuse to go to the hospital it because I'm dying thing. It was not. No small amount of blood. I was very impressed with the amount of bleeding was she had. was not no small on. amount That's of blood. That's right. That's brilliant is what that <laughs> making is. it very clear for you yes. <laughs> painfully clear but uh but she did not want to go she said you know tomorrow morning if things aren't any better and uh so the next morning came around but then it was speed racer time so right you know i suggested that perhaps we go a little later because well th tell us what you're about to do real quick well i was just looking i noticed that i, I didn't noticed. extrude back the little bars up here because uh -huh. like all of that should have been extruded is back. that gonna really kill you i it don't looks, care yeah I, i've just decided that i really don't care at all so um, yeah, yeah let's get out of know. let's get out of subobject mode. Yeah, if I hadn't said anything, nobody would have noticed. Okay, so let's grab the rotate tool, and I'm going to switch over to the not the pick. There you go to the separator. Yes, is that did that really say? Yeah, I was. You can select the separators. That's fantastic. I'd have to put an Easter egg in there if I was the, the guy <laughs> who programmed it. Anyway, I want all of this stuff, and we're going to go to transform coordinate center. And we'll hold down shift, and we'll rotate this out to 90 degrees, give me a total of three copies, boom, and now we've got all of our toes in place, so that's cool. But the reason I did that now is that's going to help me as I figure did you, out... Did you think, you know, or did you ever consider the possibility of doing it as an instance in case you had decided to come back in there and and mess with the uh, the toe so that it'll all change. Why are you talking again? You do that. So you anyways, have this habit. So it's, it, it's disturbing so that we, you do it so much. We did end up going to see Speed Racer in the IMAX. Yeah. And there were some parts of the movie that I didn't care for, but the races um, the races were really good. It's, it's geared mm -hmm. towards children. you got to keep that in mind. Right. So there were parts that I really enjoyed. Of course, Terry was unbelievably happy because uh, he's a huge speed racer nut, and Angela was happy even if she was in agonizing rough shape. pain. Yeah, but she obviously did not want to admit that to everyone <laughs> because yeah, otherwise everyone was giving her a hard time about we have to stay. All right, what you plan now? A little extra uh, detail, just in case I want to chop out some faces in there um, to okay. make a, a hole for that foot. It's just an extra edge. Okay. Okay. Now, and I just wanted to point out to anybody who might be trying to pay attention that I don't really think Jason's little story there slowed me down very much. <laughs> um, so, in case anybody was interested in that, let's do something interesting. Let's grab you and let's switch this over to a ring and hold down Control and click on polygons. So now it looks like we're all fancy. Uh, I'm going to bevel these. Let's do a uh, negative height amount and then uh, shrink them in just a little bit so something kind of like so. I don't want this to go too far in. And then we'll click OK. Now we're going to deselect some faces. Or try to anyway. So you, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. See having those feet in there is helping me out already. I'm really surprised, as I, I know you pretty well, that what you didn't. On earth, are you surprised about? That? You didn't count faces and split this up into a quarter and and then do the big. Well, you know, I was feeling dangerous. I see. Just... I also like to live dangerous <laughs> on the edge. Yes, har har. I get that. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Yes. That... Uh, I'm sorry. No pun intended. The incredible <laughs> sense of humor. All right. Uh, let's grab this, and I'm gonna grow it a few times. Ding. That's an interesting growth. <laughs> uh, shrink. Yeah, that's what don't, you said. Don't, 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 I heard it coming, and I was like, no, 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 no. All right, I'm just going to pull that out a little bit more so there's a difference in altitude there. All right. Just make me feel better. Okay, now all of these have their little foot pads, and that's all looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is add in some of the little tiny greebly things that need to go in here. So uh, let's switch over to standard primitives, grab a box, and... Uh, switch on auto grid so that I don't have to worry so much about what's going where. And I'm just going to draw out a little kind of rectangular piece of geometry. And let's uh, get out of there. Let's align this to the main piece of the foot. And I think I really just want to align this thing in Y only. Or maybe not. Let's see. It depends on which direction I just built the thing. There we go. So X. Okay, that's good. And click OK. Now, the reason I did that is because he kind of needs to be squared up on everything. We're going to drag him down in here and there's just this little tiny piece that you can just kind of oh, wrong guy some you know I go back and forth about that sometimes selecting through the gizmo is awesome 
Sometimes I hate it more than I hate anything. <laughs> anyway. So we'll switch this over to editable polys, jump over to vertices. I'm going to drag this up. Just get these guys and slide them back. So I don't know if you had a chance to see on 3D Buzz, but we've got quite a few people that are actually watching these videos. And it's terrifying to For me. those of you that posted over kind of in that thread, I, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you. It's awesome to see that we've got people watching these videos. Awesome and kind of... Well, it's a little surprising. I I don't know. Maybe not. It's Star it Wars stuff. Every, everybody likes Star Wars stuff. Man, if I was into the modeling scene, I'd be watching these. Well, Even yeah. if you do suck. <laughs> Just <kidding>. Wow. <laughs> and see, I keep wondering why you're here, and then you say something like that, and all of my fears are alleviated. Now I know exactly why you're here. <laughs> Fan... Frackantastic. Okay, so now we've got that little piece in. There's all kinds of little tiny greebly pieces that just sort of fit all over the place. So let's go back over yep. and create some more of these. Uh, this one, uh, again, auto grid is on. We're going to drag this out. This kind of fits right here into the corner. And uh, it has a more interesting shape than ah, than I was drawing at first. Yeah, the invisible shape. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so you're here just to disrupt workflow. Uh, I'm sorry. I will. I will be quiet. Mm -hmm. I shall keep my bloody stories to myself. I don't think it's going to happen. Does anybody else think it's going to happen? Yeah, you just got a bunch of people saying no. Yeah, but that's okay. All right. Well, come on. I just want this to be an editable poly, and then we're going to switch this over to vertices. Actually, you haven't really slowed me down too much. Actually, you haven't slowed me down at all, because I never really quit working. I, I would like to point that out to everybody. All right. And let's switch over to faces and extrude that out. It is fun sitting here modeling out the um, the most powerful sci-fi weapon ever. <laughs> yeah. and this thing is a, a heck of a lot of fun. And uh, it appears that your butt is vibrating. <laughs> that is not my butt, and uh, it's oh, it's, you got a cell phone on. I you. got a cell phone on me, and oh, it's okay. saying hello to me, in because it's in my front pocket. I see. Yes. Uh -huh. How unprofessional! I don't know what to tell you. I forgot <laughs> it was on. Um, yeah. So if you can hear that, my apologies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was off here doing something else. Sorry. The cell phone did get you distracted. Just a little. If you knew where it was vibrating. All right, let's hit pick, and we're going to pick this guy. All and right. we're going to switch over to use transform there you the center. Go. And then we're going to mirror. Nice. And then hit the copy button and click OK. So now I got one of those on each side. Now, granted, I could have just built one. There's all sorts of different things I could do here. But uh, anyway. So let's jump back over to creating boxes because there's some more of this kind of thing that I need to create. We're going to build a little box right about here. And notice I'm kind of centering it up on the foot. That's not at all where I want it to be when all is said and done. Uh, this is just kind of a start. And he's still using that pick system, which is fine for now. Uh, what I want to do is get him kind of aligned uh, with this guy. So we'll click, boom, and then there we go. All right, he's lined up. Click OK. Now, I'm, I want these to kind of rotate around. I guess I could show the picture. So these, that's these guys. Oh, uh, OK. So grab you. I love the selection system sometimes. I really do. It helps if you click on edges. And it's hard to keep that in mind if you're using a whole bunch of different uh, software applications. OK, so we'll put this over here. Actually, you know what? I ought to be ashamed of myself. Hey, something that uh, some of our members might be interested in. We're about to kick off an Unreal scripting series for member sponsors here probably later this week. It's going to kind of be important when we get into some of the Unreal script stuff that's going to be required for the ad ad here. Mm. So for those that need to get you know a primer in Unreal script for UT3, this is going to be a great way to do it. Let's rotate this back 50 degrees. And that's fine. I don't really think we need an instance on something as simple as a box. But we will need to slide these guys up a little bit. So I'll switch over to the Move tool and just kind of shove them up into the bottom. I think that's working out okay. All right, now uh, let's see here. That's all looking pretty good. I probably These little extrusions that I have here, mm -hmm. I probably could have used those here at every one-eighth mm -hmm. instead of every quarter. Uh, I could extrude stuff back up. I could delete out and make connections. Actually, that's not a bad way to go. Uh, I'm just trying to decide if I even think it's all that necessary. Or I could just fake it with a box. There's that, too. 
Uh, let's see here. Um, there's the split line. So let's see. If I grab polygons here, 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 and here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now let's see how many of these other guys we can see on the all around. Because so we can nuke them all out at once. And at this point, it might be a good idea to build the eighth and rotate it around. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. But I don't know if I want to yet. Bet if it was Maya, you would. <laughs> yeah, well. If Frankie V weren't watching, I probably would. Oh. Hey, Frankie. Now, a lot of people don't really realize how challenging it is when in a single day you're recording videos between multiple applications well it's funny because what it does for me is it points out everything that i love about every application <laughs> and all the things i cannot stand yeah this is very true it makes it all so very apparent it also can throw one's rhythm off though yeah there's nothing you can do about that Okay, so what I'm going to do is close all these guys up with the bridge tool. So uh, I have edges selected. Let's just go ahead and bring up the little bridge window. And I've used uh, edge selection on, so we'll just grab you and you and you. And we'll grab all your next door neighbors. And click apply. And then we can just grab this and then that. And hit apply. And that. And that. Come here, you. There you go. Okay, so now let's dance around and grab the rest of these and just do the same trick. Yeah, I don't want to do, do the whole break up into eighths thing. It's just me. Like I said, unexpected, but that's good. Hmm. Kind of throwing a curveball. All right. And bring that up. Apply. Let's see if we can get all these and just hit the Z key so I can kind of be right here. So do you have anything interesting going on this weekend? Um, let's see. I think I mentioned earlier I saw Iron Man again. I uh, did a Mother's Day thing with oh, my family. That's nice. Did you guys cook out? Yeah. A bunch of, bunch of ribs, man. It was awesome. All the uh, brothers over? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Uh, lots of people. It was fun. I bet there were a lot of ribs, too. Oh, man. When Josh cooks, <laughs> he'd apparently been working on these ribs for three days. <laughs> it's like, like a know. Josh masterpiece. Yeah. They, they were really good, though. Definite props to him for an awesome lunch. Okay. Is that everything? I think we've now gone all the way around. Okay. So everybody's happy. Uh, let's go ahead and just cancel out of anything else that's remaining. Everyone's all plugged in. Now. Back to the lecture at hand. I think we've got some more pieces to dupe out. In that uh, I, there are some little flat guys that kind of stretch across here. I don't think they need to be all that complicated, but I want to try something. Earlier, we just stuck some boxes in here, and that's, that's okay. I don't really have a problem with that. I wouldn't mind seeing just one little extra edge here, okay. but I could be being way too picky about the amount of detail. So just for the little tiny boxes, I'm not going to worry about it. For these next pieces, let's push it just a little bit further. We'll go to our extended primitives. Let me grab a chamfer box, and we'll make sure auto grid is on, and we'll just... Uh, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's put it over here where it's nice and straight and lined up with the grid, and then we'll just rotate it around. So we'll pull in somebody kind of like this, give them a little bit of height, and then uh, don't need much chamfer. As a matter of fact, we don't need so many fillet segments either. Just one is enough. We don't need a whole lot. Now, let's slide this in. Let's pull it down. I'm going to go into its actual settings and change a few things about it. Uh, let's increase its height a little bit so that we can kind of just sink it into the shape like so. And I'll just pull that up. I'm going to pull down its fillet amount to tighten that up, kind of sharpen it a little. Okay. Now let's pull it wide. Let's go back to our uh, reference coordinate systems. We'll go back to pick and grab the box here. We'll go back to transform coordinate center. And then we'll mirror that back over. 
and make sure we have copy on. Oh, there you go. It was X to begin with. It just wasn't updating my viewport. I love it when it does that. Makes me so happy. All right. So now we're sure. I think it was. I didn't see it, but you know, I could have. You going crazy, man? Anything's possible, <laughs> you know. Let's go back to pick, and we'll get this guy. In fact, I needed to have the rotate tool selected before I did that, but that's okay. So we'll go back to the point helper, and we're gonna rotate this guy around to a forty-five degree angle, and let's do the same with this guy. But this time, we're gonna shift drag, so we get another copy over there at forty-five, and you can call that whatever you want to. It makes no difference to me. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, this is all looking okay. Let's see, what else do we really absolutely have to have in here? Um, we've got, uh, there's a channel that I'm noticing that I could uh, extrude in in this piece here. And if, pardon me, guys, if the viewport looks like it jumps a little bit, the mouse wheel that I have here is very, very sensitive. And so with the slightest nudge, if it falls right in between uh, a, a bit of motion, it kind of jumps back and forth. There's not a lot I can do about that. But I am aware of it before you start drafting that email. All right, so let's scale this in. So we'll pull this into about here, I suppose. And let's grab just one of the little edges inside there. We will ring it. Hold down Control and switch that over to polygons. Let's uh, extrude that in. Um, I'll do a lot of these by the numbers if I can. So we'll pull that in, click OK, and then we'll bevel that uh, to just a little bit of negative height. I'll bring down that outline amount for a minute. And then a little bit of bevel and just click OK. So now we've got that channel in place and that's good. Oh, uh, what else? There's all sorts of little details we could probably kind of make up if we really wanted to. Let's go back out here to boxes. And I won't use a chamfer box on these because they are so small and simple. So let's go back to standard primitives. Grab a box. Auto grid is on. And there's a little guy here that kind of sits in the corner of all these little pieces. Let's frame up on him. I'm going to push his geometry kind of up in uh, into the piece just a little bit. Let's go back to view and center that up. So we'll shove that up inside there. Now we'll switch back to the box and use trans reference coordinate center. Let's mirror that. Good. Okay. Looking pretty swank so far. Now, I've seen some models of this have like an extra little triangular pad in here. Mm -hmm. It all depends on who you're talking to. I don't see it on this one, so I'm going to go ahead and omit it. But, uh, yeah, it's entirely up to you whether or not you wanted to do that. There's one more little box I want to add. And it, it kind of goes inside this opening down here on the inside of the foot. So let's go over to box. And we'll just draw out uh, just a little tall guy. And we'll, we'll change his shape as necessary here in just a moment. First off, though, let's get him aligned. So we'll align this basic part of the foot, and that'll work for our purposes. Let's also go back to view and uh, use the object's pivot. Now, we'll sink that down into the geometry just a little bit, and then we'll change some things. We don't need it to have that much height. I wouldn't mind it having just a little more width and length. And we'll sink it kind of halfway into the geometry. And there we go. So, I mean, you can see that. If you take a look at the picture that I, I showed you earlier, you can make that one out. I think that's just about everybody. Okay. So, now, what we need to do is get all of this duped off. And we could probably do all of this at once. Let me just kind of verify that. It looks like everything's going to dupe off okay if we go at 90s. So, boom. And we'll select you and you and you and you. Make sure you get everybody. Oh. And there you go. I think that's everyone. And if it's not, then we'll just have some catching up to do here in a moment. Let's set this back over to the point. All right, go right the rotate anyway. And shift drag this off to 90 degrees. And just double check, make sure that all looks good, and it seems to. So let's click that up to a total of three copies. And we have all these pieces on the underside of the foot which is looking good for us. So I think that's enough detail for the bottom of the foot for now. Uh, just for um, fun, whatever, you call, it, call it what you will, I am going to take, uh, let's see here, let's get the select tool out. There's some faces in here that I'm going to nuke, and we can't really see them that well unless we shade everything out. Let's just jump around here, one, two, three, four, and then we'll grab the faces directly in front of that, even though those will probably never be seen anyway. Three, four. 
Gotta love the sound effects. And we'll just hit delete and nuke those out. Now, uh, let's switch over to borders. We'll shade everything up so we can see just a little bit uh, better than we were. Now, if we have borders selected and we grab this border, what do we have exactly? We have everybody around the edge there, which is good for me. Because what I want to do is get the move tool out and then just shift drag that up and create kind of an arbitrary amount of thickness there. Because that's going to fill in the inside of that box as well. Gotcha. So when the, the toe flips down, you'll see something inside there. Okay. All right, looking pretty good. So uh, what do you think? Coming Not along? Bad. Throw some materials on it just so it matches with the same modeling yeah, material. Yeah, probably a good idea. Let's just grab everybody, get out of sub-object mode, grab everybody, slide over here. And uh, let's just assign this to selection, and we'll close that out. And that should take care of everyone, aside from their wire frames, which is fine if they're a little bit different. Let's hit F4 so we can see that. And there we go. Nice. We've got our foot. So what are we looking at on time? Up to you. We can go on a little longer if you'd like, if you have something you want to play with. I think this is a good stopping point, which is why I'm asking. So. Then this will be a good stopping point. All right. So uh, I'd like to thank everybody for following along. Thank you, guys. We've got the, uh, the foot done, and we'll just go ahead and start working our way up the leg in the upcoming videos. And I hope to see you then. Sounds awesome. You guys have a wonderful day.